You're listening to the Miss Artastic Podcast. Inspiration for art teachers. Here's your host, Kathleen McGivern. This episode is brought to you by MissArtastic.com. If you're a teacher or art educator, you can find ideas, tips, advice, and art resources for art education at MissArtastic.com. Find the link in the description or go to MissArtastic.com now. elements of art to kids, simple techniques, and strategies. So our education is an important part of a child's development as it not only allows them to express themselves creatively, but also it allows them to develop their critical thinking and problem solving skills. One important aspect of our education is that particularly is important to teach is the elements of art. And understanding the elements of art, which is line, which is shape, Uh, form, texture, value, and space and color can really help children create a more meaningful and thoughtful and intentional work of art. However, teaching the elements of art to children can sometimes be a challenge. And in this this, uh, video or podcast episode, we're going to be exploring some simple techniques and strategies that educators can use to teach the elements of art to kids of all ages, of all ages. So whether you are a classroom parent or a teacher, uh, sorry, a classroom teacher or a parent (laughs) looking for fun and educational activities to do with your child at home or the kids in your classroom, these techniques and strategies are sure to make learning about the elements of art engaging and fun. So here we go, so excited. We're gonna begin with simple techniques and strategies for teaching the elements of art to kids. So teaching the elements of art to kids can really be fun and rewarding experience for both educators and students. And there are many simple techniques and strategies that can be used to make the learning process uh, engaging and enjoyable for kids of all ages. One effective strategy is to start by introducing the elements of art one at a time, my friend. Uh, This can really help students to focus on each element of art individually and help them gain a deeper understanding of the unique characteristics. For example, educators can start by introducing the elements of art and then providing students with various examples of how it can be used in an artwork. This can be followed by an activity where students use different types of lines to create a drawing or painting. Another strategy is to to incorporate art history into the lesson. Educators can provide students with examples of an artwork from different periods and cultures that showcase the elements of art. This can help students to see how the elements of art have been used throughout history to create meaningful and impactful artworks. In addition, our educators can encourage um, students to experiment with different uh, art materials and techniques. For example, students can use different types of paint or pastels to explore the elements of our color or experiment with different textures uh, to explore the elements of our texture. And this type of hands-on exploration can really help students get a deeper understanding of how the elements of art are going to help them develop their own artistic style. Finally, it's really important to provide students with the opportunities to reflect on their own artwork and the artwork of others. Encouraging students to discuss their artworks with their peers and provide constructive feedback can really help them to develop their critical thinking and communication skills, as well as gain a deeper understanding of the elements of art. Overall, by incorporating these simple techniques and strategies into their teaching, into your teaching practice, educator, and as an educator, you can really create a fun and engaging and learning environment that encourages students to explore and discover the elements of art themselves. So we're gonna just go through understanding the elements of art. So the elements of art are really the building blocks of any artwork. Understanding these elements is essential for both creating and appreciating art. There are several seven elements of art which include line, shape, form, value, space, texture, and color. Each of these elements plays a critical role in creating a work of art. Line is one of the most basic elements of art, and it refers to the continuous mark made on a surface. Lines can vary in thickness, direction, and length, and can be used to create various shapes, forms, movement, and emotion. 
Shape, on the other hand, are two-dimensional forms that can be defined by lines or created by color or texture. Form, on the other hand, is um, forms are three-dimensional shapes that can be viewed from different angles or you can move around them. For example, this, this tablet computer thing is a form. It has three dimensions. You can move around it, like my hands. Boop. Now you see them, now you don't. Anyways, value <laughs> refers to the lightness and darkness of a color and is essential for creating the illusion of depth and dimensionality in a work of art. Space, meanwhile, refers to the area around and between and within objects in a work of art and is really critical uh, for creating a sense of uh, depth, um, of, sorry, a sense of perspective and depth in a, in a work of art. Texture, on the other hand, refers to the surface quality of a work of art and can be created through the use of various materials and techniques. Finally, color is perhaps the most versatile and expressive of all the elements of art. Color can be used to create mood, convey meaning, and emo evoke emotion in a work of art. It is important to understand the properties of color, such as hue, value, and intensity, as well as how different colors interact with one another. Strategies for teaching the elements of art. So teaching the elements of art to children can seem daunting, but with the right strategies, it can be a fun and engaging process. Here are some few effective uh, strategies for teaching the elements of art to kids. Number one is to start with the basics. Begin by introducing the seven elements of art to children in a way that is easy for them to understand. You're going to start off with the basics such as line, uh, shape, and color, and then build upon them these concepts as the children become more comfortable. Use visuals. So number two, use visuals. If you got distracted, come back to me right now, my friend. I I know it's so easy to get distracted. Okay. So number two is to use visuals. To incorporate visuals such as paintings, drawings, and sculpture to demonstrate how the different elements are used in uh, various works of art. And this is going to help children develop a better understanding of how the elements work together to create a piece of art. Number three, provide hands-on experiences. So this really encourages children to experiment with the different materials and mediums and techniques to create their own artworks. This hands-on approach will help them understand how the elements of our work in practice and will also allow them to express their creativity. Number four is art integrating art history. So teach children about famous artists and art movements throughout our history and this will help them understand how the elements of art have been used in different ways over time and then also provide them with inspiration for their own artwork. And number five is to make it fun. Make, make it fun. I know you got distracted. I'm trying to get you back to me, my friend. You got this. Grab that paper, pencil, whatever. I like Google Docs, to be honest. I'm taking notes. But that's just me. Um, well, also, that's not true. I also take notes in like paper, but then the problem with that is I can't read my own writing sometimes. <laughs> so that is why I also do Google Docs. Is so that way when I actually go back to look at my notes, I can't, I can actually read it. But whatever doc program or whatever thing you like to do, you do you. That's my, that's my thing. But number five is to make it fun. Use games and activities to make learning about the elements of art fun and engaging. For example, children can create a scavenger hunt to find examples of different elements of art around their home or school. I love scavenger hunts! Those are awesome. And kids, like, honestly lose their mind. And any time I can get them that engaged, that's good. That's good. That's all I can say about that. Okay, let's go. Simple techniques for teaching the elements of art. So teaching elements of art to children can really be challenging, but there are several techniques and they're simple to make this process easier and more enjoyable for the teacher, the parents, and the students. Sorry guys. So sorry. So sorry. We are on vibrate. I mean, um, yeah. That's distracting. All right, so <laughs> so anyways, it's gonna make it more enjoyable for the teacher and students. So let's talk about some effective techniques for teaching the elements of art. Number one, uh, use relatable examples. So make use of everyday objects um, to explain the different elements of art to children. For example, you could use a ball to demonstrate how shape can be used 
um, both two-dimensional and three-dimensional or use rainbow use a concept of a rainbow to show the different colors of a spectrum number two is to use repetition so repetition can really be a powerful tool uh, for helping children remember the different elements of art you can repeat key concepts and vocabulary throughout the lesson to help them reinforce their understanding number three is demonstrate techniques um, demonstrate different art techniques to children um, and have them practice these techniques um, themselves like that's super important this will allow them to develop a better understanding of how the different elements of art can be used in practice number four is to provide constructive feedback so provide constructive feedback on children's artwork to help them understand how they can improve Focus on specific elements of art and provide specific instructions for engagement and sorry, for improvement. And what I like to do is like I like to encourage things I like that are, they're doing very well. So if I see something that they're doing very well, I'm gonna be like, hey, I really love what you're doing specifically here. And I'm gonna you know point that out. I really like how you are um, manipulating textures and creating texture with value here. I would love to see more of that. So that way you're encouraging their strengths and allowing that part to grow instead of being like, oh, do better at this, blah, 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 blah. Like you're making it a positive, encouraging them instead of crushing their soul because artists are sensitive. I don't highly recommend that. And also people don't like to be crushed. I don't know if you know this. I do. I got crushed. It hurts. Anyways, moving on. Use open-ended prompts. So use open-ended prompts to encourage children to think creatively and explore different art techniques. For example, instead of asking children to draw a specific object, object, ask them to create a drawing that includes a variety of shapes, colors, and lines. And then of course, by using these simple techniques and teaching the elements of art, art can be enjoyable and effective, an effective experience for both the teacher and the students. Next is strategies for teaching the elements of art. So teaching the elements of art to children really requires a strategic approach that combines different techniques and approaches that to ensure that students understand the concepts and then can apply them to their artwork in their own ways, right? You can apply this to their own artworks, make it their own, right? So one effective strategy is to start with the basics and then gradually build upon these concepts until your students can become more comfortable. For example, start off with the most fundamental elements such as line, shape, and color, and then gradually increase and introduce more complex concepts such as texture and space, which are a little bit more tricky to grasp, right? Or create. Texture is a little bit difficult. So another M plus you can't make texture without line and value and color. <laughs> so that's why also the reason why you wouldn't want to start off with texture right off the bat because you need to know how you do like create value and use line and blah, blah, blah to make texture. Anyways, it's like doing multiplication before you do addition. It doesn't make sense or division. Like it just doesn't make sense. Like you gotta have the understanding of the other ones before you do that. It's building blocks. Anyways. Another strategy for effect, an effective strategy is to use visuals and hands-on experiences to teach the elements of art. So incorporating painting, drawing, and sculptures and other works of art can help students really become better understand how the different elements of art work together to create a cohesive piece. Encouraging children to experiment with different materials and techniques also um, provides a hands-on approach that can help them develop a better understanding of how the elements of art work in a practice. Uh, art history can also be a valuable tool in teaching the elements of art. Teaching children about famous artists and art movements throughout history can really help them understand how the elements have been used in different ways over time and provide them with inspiration for their own artwork, which I think is key. Making the learning process fun is a really important strategy for teaching the elements of art using games and activities. To make learning about the elements of art engaging can help children stay focused, motivated, and motivated throughout the lesson. For example, a scavenger hunt can be created where children can search for examples of different elements of art around their home or school. Overall, effective teaching strategies for the elements of art involve combination of approaches that incorporate visuals hands-on experiences and art history while also making the learning process enjoyable and engaging for children. 
So connecting to other subjects with the elements of art. Connecting to the elements Connecting the elements of art to other subjects can really help students gain a deeper understanding of how the elements of art work and how they, of course, can be applied in different contexts. One effective way is to connect the elements of art to other subjects is to integrate them into lessons on math and science and history. For example, when teaching geometry, you can use shapes to introduce the concept of two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes or forms. You can also use the concept of symmetry to teach students about balance and harmony um, in art. And then when teaching science, you can really use color theory to explain the science of light and how it affects color perception. You can also use texture to explore the different properties of materials. So there's tons of ways to uh, go about it. You can even explore texture under microscopes. How cool would that be? Or like, and then, then you could take that and you could draw um, those close-ups of what you would see through a microscope and then you could also write about it. That's how you make it blended. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I love it. I love it. I love if you're a general teacher I love, or even just even if you're an art teacher just pulling all that together like how deep is your kid are those kids going to learn and then make an art show about it like <gasps> dying. Dying. Moving on. Uh, history can also be an effective way to connect the elements of art to other subjects. For example, you can teach students about the different art movements throughout history and how the elements of art were used to create different styles of artworks. Um, for example, you can also teach students about the cultural significance of different art styles and how they reflect uh, the values and beliefs of different societies. Integrating the elements of art into other subjects is not, not only helps students uh, gain a deeper understanding of the elements, but also helps them see the relevance of art in their everyday lives. By connecting art to other subjects, you can help students develop a broader perspective on the world around them and then foster a love for creativity and self-expression. If you're wanting to find art units that are fully planned and explore the elements of art through a theme, then you can find my art units that are great, specific, and exclusive to Ms. Artastic Teachers by Teachers Store by going to teacherspayteachers.com and searching Ms. Artastic. That's M S Artastic, which is spelled A R T A S T I C. Ms. Artastic. And then you can go and search either either search in my store elements of art or uh, if you're on a desktop on the left side there's some categories and then you can click the elements of art section or category on there and it'll pull it up or you can just free scroll through it whatever you want it's there check it out i love it if there's great specific ones again they're all embedded with the theme so that way they're not overlapping each year so for example in kindergarten we're exploring the elements of art through the theme animals and then in grade one we're exploring the elements of art through the theme farm, and then grade two is the elements of art through the theme um, insects, all the way up to grade eight. So cool. Of course, the concepts and the themes get a little bit more uh, in depth as you get to grade eight, right? Like I'm exploring light versus dark, or weather, or time, right? Those are more uh, abstract concepts, so I place them obviously much higher up in the grades. In conclusion, teaching the elements of art to children is an important way to help them develop a deeper understanding and appreciation for art. By using effective strategies and techniques, teachers can help students learn the fundamental concepts of art in a way that is engaging, hands-on, and fun. Integrating the elements of art into other subjects can also help students um, see the relevance of art in their everyday lives and then provide them with the broader perspective on the world around them. By nurturing children's creativity and encouraging them to explore the elements of art, we can really help them develop important skills such as problem solving, critical thinking, and self-expression, which are all essential for the success in both academics and in life. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode, and I will see you in the next.